welcome back to the channel. This is my new project. It's a 1970 Subaru Sambar pickup. Um, just got this thing home, got it off the trailer, and we're just gonna do a quick walk around and just kind of tell you guys what I've all noticed about it. Um, as you can see, it's been sitting for a really long time. Um, I think the guy, the story behind this little truck is that uh, it was the guy's father's truck and he owned a gas station and he used to drive it to work every once in a while and then it ended up just getting parked and it's been sitting since 1982 so it was really only on the road for about uh, 12 years um, got a little bit of rust but nothing too bad a lot of these things are rusting away or just uh, completely gone <laughs> thank you been a lot of people stopping checking it out you just don't see these things anymore it's got a little two-stroke motor back here um, unknown condition but it does seem to turn over, so that's a good sign. And it looks like everything's here. Clearly it's been exposed to the weather because it's missing this back hatch. So we're gonna have to go through the whole fuel system. Um, it's got this really neat little side bed right here where you can flap this down and you could load, I don't know, a little mini bike back there or something. That's pretty sweet. Um, thank you. <laughs> so, um, I just saw this pop up on Craigslist. And I was like, I gotta have it. Do I need it? No. Is my mom super happy about this? Probably not. But, you know, what can you do? <laughs> you gotta buy it, right? So, I don't know. We need some name suggestions. I was thinking a little green apple, green pea, something like that. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm gonna get this thing washed up. As you can see, it's been sitting under a tree for a long time. It's got moss growing on it. Pine needles in the bed. So, I think what I'm gonna do is just get this thing cleaned up, make it look a little bit better. And then uh, next video, we are gonna attempt to start this thing up. We know it turns over. I have no clue what's wrong with it. Probably spark, fuel, all of that stuff needs to be gone through. And I think this thing will be sweet. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it, but might make a cool little uh, shop truck, you know. Stick a little logo on the side and boom. Put a little mini bike in the back, a little Z50. And pull up to some car shows and stuff. But. Um, yeah, I'm going to get the cleaning and then bring you guys back. Here we go. Woo! Sophie Subaru. Maybe we should have gotten all the pine cones out of it before we put soap on it. That might have yeah. been smart, but I guess we'll just start scrubbing away at this. Ooh, look at that paint. This thing used to be yellow, as you can see. Looks like we're gonna have some yellow shining through. Lemon drop, that could be another name. <laughs> I'm just coming up with names. But yeah, I'm just gonna scrub away at this. that difference from that to the front that's crazy it's crazy how tall this thing is it's only about 
five feet tall and I think seven feet long maybe. So it's a pretty small little guy. Really nice washing a car when it's raining out. <laughs> it's like a double wash. You wash yourself and you wash the car. I love these little blinkers and the ones that are up on the top of the roof. Those are really cool. What do you think of a little green pea? Key lime pie. Are you sure it's not popped up? No, dude, it's got a, it's got like a loose axle. It's like a Volkswagen. Yeah, yeah. it's got those trans axles. Axle. Yeah, trans axle. So yeah. Is it cleaning up? Cleaned or not? cleaning up pretty nice. Cool. Just buff that paint out a little bit. Okay, let's get this bed cleaned out. I'm gonna just pop these little things off just like that. It's pretty fun how this works. And this folds down. And you can actually remove this, I think. I don't know how, but we're just gonna set it down like that for now. And I guess just scrape some of this moss out. Look at that. bed hasn't rusted out especially being in such a wet climate you know uh, I would have expected it to uh, rust out back here but I guess it didn't especially with stuff like this laying in the bed it will uh, just trap moisture and you can see all this water is just almost like a sponge guys that's gonna wrap it up for this video i hope you enjoyed it and you guys like the new project stay tuned for more videos on this little subaru sandbar pickup uh, we're gonna be attempting to start it for the first time in over math i don't know that's like 40 years or something but uh, i can't do the math um but yeah i'm super excited about the new project hope you guys are too make sure you are subscribed to the channel and leave a like and a comment and we'll catch you guys on the next video.